guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 18 and 19 of Yes, Pretty Cure 5. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 18 in 3, 2, 1, go. Well, damn, that's a lot. Look at that! I can't say no. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, you don't. It still might rain again. It's almost seven, right? Yeah. Oh, of course the people are upstairs are getting a little impatient. I mean, come on. This is a job, of course. Bingo! That is a dream house, like, oh.
<laughs> okay, Cotton. <laughs> Yeah, a normal house, huh? Woo! Who lives like this? Might have to come by yourself though. That gives me like feels to like Farm Bill and everybody was so obsessed with that game. Oh, no, I'm about to fuck it up. <laughs> I don't think Cotton would blab about Pretty Care. Pretty care is something that you five share together, so of course she's not going to tell anybody else about it. <laughs> Komachi. the palm tree <laughs> oh my god
<laughs> we'll blame the four stooges. <laughs> Oh, it's sweet. Tomorrow? Oh, poor baby. <laughs> well, she technically is the mom of the group. Oh, 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 Pinky, Pinky. Okay, so quickly. Speaking of the devil. No, no, no. That's just because the bad guy this week is trying to use the greenhouse as the main, you know, villain of the week.
Mm. Yeah, but her glasses are off. She can't see. Oh, so we were wanting to do that. Oh, okay. Click in. Well, I never thought water would work with quicksand. Or really just mud in general. <laughs> but that's friends. Of course she would leave. <laughs> Let's hope not.
no, you're not doing anything wrong, but, you know, everyone who you love and care about, they're now going to know, and then the bad guys might know and put two and two together, and... That's a no. That means you can't print it. But you always need someone's consent on it to make sure that it's okay. <laughs> Fritz came over and made a big fuss. Down in the corner. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, well, even though the interview didn't go as well as, you know, a lot of us thought it was going to go, you know, I mean, they still did good. Cotton, you did good, too. I mean, hell, that reminds me of the time when one of my friends, like, from high school wanted to do an interview on me, um, a couple of, like, what he kind of considered were people who made it into, like, the entertainment industry so not only myself but a couple other people and plus he was a person who also liked anime and manga as well and he messaged me on my instagram one like saturday sunday morning or night whatever he was going to draw me as any character that i wanted to um be and then like just interview me and ask me questions about it and he was going to put it well unfortunately we never really got everything done because he never really had time and yeah Never got that interview done, so who knows? Nobody would have been able to see me in, like, a really nice art style and such. But, you know, hey, I still have fan art, though, but yay! <laughs> but, yes, even though the interview did not go the best, it was still good. <laughs> Poor Cotton. Huh. <sighs> Maybe, or just like, oh, your grandfather <laughs> Okay, but it has to be something about, like, her acting, of course, because, like, what else is it going to be about? But, I mean, honestly, to have another episode in the day of life of, well, not really the whole day of a life in Cotton, you know, because you're like, mm, that just reminds you, it makes you, oh, God, because remember in, like, Hagato when we had that one dude who, like, really almost every villain was kind of, like, working as a quote-unquote YouTuber, especially the first villain that we had um, before, um, I'm about to say wrong person. I was about to say Rami do. <laughs> Lulu and Ebby came in when the very, I don't remember, because it was a guy, and he was so freaking cute, and I was just like, ah, every single time when he came on the show, I was like, yes, let's go, um, but, like, in the, in the end, he became a YouTuber, and I was like, oh, that's so freaking cute, like, yeah, we're getting more into, like, modern day-ish, where it's like, oh, hey, you know, YouTube is a career and decision and ish that, you know, some of us make and shit like that, but at the same time, like, I don't know why. I, I've seen it in, like, more animes now, especially, like, the former show, um, Pre-Time, which is part of the Pretty Rhythm series. I don't know why, but I kind of want to see, like, one series of Pretty Gear 
where we get to see the girls make a YouTube channel. I think that would be really interesting without, you know, still masking their identities of them being pretty Karen-ish, but, you know, who knows? Somebody might put two and two together and maybe it might not work, but I think it still might be an interesting idea that Soul Animation could do. But at the end of the day, it is up to them, but <laughs> we ain't gonna know. It's just a, it's a big dream. It's a big little pipe dream right now. You gave me my mermaids. So freaking happy that you gave me my mermaid season, and I love it till today. But, you know, hey, would like to see something where, like, the girls were like, yeah, let's become YouTubers or something like that. But, you know, who knows. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys on one second for episode 19. <laughs> okay, episode 19 in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> No, it's just her dad and her grandfather. Oh. So, you know, Urada, do you also speak French? Hmm. The two languages that I actually kind of know. A little bit of French and a little bit of Japanese.
Of course. See, that sounds like a lie, but, you know, okay. They're just your biggest fans. Yeah, I get you, because, you know, parents, family can do that, but they love you. It's okay. It must be the anniversary of her mom's passing. This is just giving me, like, love life feels. You know that one episode when, like, oh, God. <laughs> Every 
Give him what's for telling, Nico. <laughs> uh. Okay, well, it could also be something else, so still keep tailing her. <laughs> Something about her mom, right? I mean, also, he's not only a coward, but he is desperate. Like, that desperate. Like, oh my god. Not that.
You don't have to fight if you don't want to. If only it had straight up defeated him and he died, but no. No. Were you trying to make curry? That's what it was? Like your mom's? Mm-hmm. That's cute. Oh my god. This baby, oh my god!
when it comes to food, moderation does not matter. No, that's so sweet. Honestly, also, you guys made me hungry. I haven't eaten since it's now 746. So I haven't eaten in like four hours because the last time I ate was while this for these this week's episodes of Pretty Care and this week's episodes of t- Twin were being made into files. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go make me a wrap or two and ish and eat them bad boys while everything's editing. But oh god ooh, da, da. baby precious baby love her so much like the fact that she just wanted to make something to remember her mom by and of course you know having her mother's notebook that's very important to not only her but her mom herself was sweet like ah uh. <sighs> once again in the fields of children ah uh, it hurts oh my god but i love this show so freaking much but god i wasn't ready to get them feels today like no Oh my god. Why'd you do that? <laughs> mm. But I liked it. It was a good episode. Really enjoyable and sweet. Mm-mm-mm. I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> but it was sweet. I really enjoyed both of these this week. I mean, oh my god. Yeah, the cotton interview didn't go as well as planned. And ooh, da, da, like... Mm. You had to get me with the mom thing. The just ah, uh, the parent thing is so emotional to me. Ah. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, this is gonna give me bang dream feels now. Oh God. Oh, uh, God, yep, this is going to definitely be, you know, freaking bendity, except, you know, it's not bendity, it's just pretty cute, you know, debuting a song together, and be like, hmm, how are we going to do this, how is this going to go, I mean, mm, are we possibly going to see these girls argue, like, I mean, because they're typical, they're already friends anyway, and they're so they're going to argue, so maybe we might see these girls argue next week over a song, and of course, since Una is down about it, and I'm guessing she is a little, um stumped about writing a song or she can't get the right words for her lyrics and it's like that and so of course yeah gotta have your girlfriends always help you out which always usually helps in the end sometimes not all the time but sometimes you know it's okay but i I think these girls got it but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 18 and 19 of yes pretty care 5 if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next friday for patreons and next monday for everybody else for episodes 20 and 21 bye guys